In this video, entitled Mapping Writing and the Writing Programs at Your Institution, you will work through a series of written and visual exercises to help you better understand the context of writing at your campus and understand the interrelationships of stakeholders who may influence how your writing program works. These exercises will help you position your writing program within a broader institutional landscape that as a result will help you pinpoint funding opportunities and constraints, budget practices, and allies in the efforts to promote advanced literacies on your campus. Equally, you will consider the larger narrative about writing and how campus policies and politics may affect how you build writing program initiatives. To complete these exercises, you will need the MAP worksheet, or its close facsimile, which you will find on this video, and an image of your campus map or your own visualization of it. To begin, fill out this campus writing map worksheet about your campus details and context. Pause and consider the places of writing on your campus, as well as your key contacts. Then brainstorm about how that place or person or people could support your programmatic writing initiatives. Finally, consider how these places and people align with your program's writing goals. It can also be helpful to know about the points of friction that exist on your campus so that you can plan strategic paths around them or enlist allies in addressing them. But it's often unproductive to focus all your energy on them. Limit your list to the points of friction that most concern you. Pause and brainstorm about the issues on this worksheet. You will find an example for X University in this video for both of these worksheet prompts. Next. Create a campus map or visualization of your campus and who and where stakeholders exist on your campus as related to the writing program. You will find examples that represent these types of writing program maps on this video. Once you've identified campus influences upon the writing program and filled out the worksheet, locate the geographic positions of these campus stakeholders, their locations on your campus, and their vicinities or distances from each other which may help you to understand their interrelationships with the writing program. Do their physical locations on campus align with the working relationships and frictions that have been cultivated on your campus? Are there forces external to your campus, such as local business leaders, that impact your writing program? After you have completed the written worksheet and visualization of your campus writing program, spend some time reflecting upon and writing about the following questions. How is your writing program situated in your institution, curricularly, administratively, geographically? What are the broader conversations about writing and writers happening on your campus? In the larger landscape, what other influences may affect your program, such as state systems, accreditation systems, or institutional alliances? How can WPAs and writing instructors position themselves within these conversations? Are there possible alliances or allies on your campus that are visible on your map? How can we identify ways to advocate for the principles and practices critical to our programs without becoming overwhelmed? How is your institution positioned in the larger higher education landscape? How might this influence your writing program? What do you know about the ways that budget decisions are made at your institution? And what do you still need to learn about your writing program budget? Who and what affect budgetary decisions? How does your budget fit within your larger institutional landscape? These questions will now lead to the next video about budgeting, and they may also lead you back to your mission statement where you might consider how your broader understanding of your writing program could help you revise your mission statement.